Petrol price should be 750 naira per liter, says World Bank. Can you imagine? So World Bank is not telling Tinubu what to do to Nigerian economy. So they are telling him now that petrol price should go up from 600 naira per liter it is today to 750 naira per liter uh, and remove stopping subsidy completely. I don't understand what these people are, are up to. Uh, you yeah, are comparing Nigerian economy to global economy with the state of things in the country that ill advising us, I tell you the truth. Let's get into the details to see what World Bank, uh, why they are telling Tinubu to sell petrol at 750 naira per liter. The World Bank has stated that the federal government may still be paying for fuel subsidy, considering that fuel prices are currently not cost reflective in the country. He says the price of petrol should be around 750 naira per liter more than the 750 naira per liter currently being paid by nigerians the bank's uh, lead economist for nigeria alex sienat revealed uh, revealed this during his presentation of nigeria development update december 2023 edition titled turning the corner from reforms and renewed hope to results on wednesday in abuja now during the event which is hybrid he noted that based on the official exchange rate today, fuel should cost 750 naira per liter. He said it does not, it does seem like petrol prices are not fully adjusting to market conditions, so that hints uh, at the partial return of the subsidy. Can you mind? So that hints at the partial return of the subsidy. So if we estimate what is the cost reflective of retail pms price of the world uh, of the would be and assuming that the importation is done at the official fx rate ha so what they want now is that tinubu should sell uh, fuel um at 750 naira per liter because what it is today is not reflective of the true state of the economy it's not reflective of the true exchange rate of the naira to dollar so <laughs> so that's when I look at some of these things, I imagine whether these people mean well for Nigeria and why would they be telling us how to run our economy and the government is taking it hook, line and sinker without asking, without, without you know, questioning what they are, they, are, they are telling us to do. It's so quite unfortunate. And already people are reacting to this World Bank advice to Tinubu and his administration. Uh, somebody say here, the World Bank should stop creating chaos of dictatorship to continue maltreating the less privileged by pushing the federal government to shoot up fair price to 750 naira. Again, despite all the shortcomings from the government. This is a very bad advice, I tell you the truth. We don't need these people to influence us. Does it mean that we cannot lead our country without them? We cannot, you know, do our own thing without, without their input? I don't understand. They should stop benchmarking us with the world. Let's do this the way to work in Nigeria. So the Tunubu government are the ones behind these utterances and not the World Bank like they want us to believe. Exactly. So it could be another propaganda, uh, you know, trying to prep the Nigerians on what they intend to do and trying to say that it is the World Bank that is saying they should do it. But if, it is, if, if the World Bank is saying it, let's see. If, if Tinubu's team is raising the propaganda, then the World Bank should come and debunk it and tell the world that they did not say it. I tell you they have gone behind to align with the World Bank to say it, so it will look like the, the advice is coming from the World Bank. Well, there's nothing impossible under this uh, political dispensation and under this APC, I must tell you the truth. So it's possible that Tinubu would have aligned, or Tinubu's men would have aligned with the World Bank officials in Nigeria to say it, so they will say it is coming from the World Bank. Now, only God know where they go, who they are meeting. Now, wow, this is very bad situation. All Niger Delta government should open modular refineries in partnership with the private sector manager, and cheaper fuel would be available. Yeah, it is the federal government that will also give that license now. Would they permit it? Would they allow it? Because these people are still working to make sure that no state in Nigeria is autonomous or independent so that they can continue to control all the states from the central. And that is actually a very bad system of government in the present uh, 
day political dispensation. The owners of Nigerian crude oil have pegged several refinery per liter for this for their product. Abi, all of you in government, you don't know what to do about conditions of this country. If government can't limit uh, the way of spending money, that's how you continue to increase. Hmm. Very unfortunate for an organization to be saying fuel pump should be somewhere fifty nine per liter. Consider the poor governance in the country. May what you wish Nigeria never come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. That is the prayer. Somebody is praying now against the World Bank advice. How to go policy World Bank useless that is sorting them. Gang up against Nigerians in the higher order. Okay. Tinubu is failing. No plans. Many months now. No achievement. Let them also tell federal government to leave uh, what the living wage should be since they know everything. Uh -huh. So since they know what to tell the government to do to, you know, to increase the uh, fair pump price, they know everything, they claim to be expert. Let them also tell Nigeria what the living wage should be for Nigerians and tell the government to pay that living wage. That is it. Uh -huh. World Bank and IMF should never be listened to by any responsible African government because the aim, their aim is to ground Africa completely and I, 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 I seem to agree with that. All this ill advice is to make sure they keep uh, you know, Africa uh, subjected to their policy and that is very bad. And they will bring in global this, bring global that and then they will put Nigeria in a fix and the rest of African countries in a fix. And this is not what we wish ourselves. And it's a very terrible situation, I must tell you. This has to stop. This has to stop. Nigeria is long gone. Nigeria is a failed country and must be split. Time will come. It's just a matter of time. I know that Nigeria will split. It's just a matter of time. They are just playing with time. When time comes, something will happen. That is it. It is better close down for a week so that the president and his political class take better. We are in shambles. They know. They know. Uh, somebody say thunder fire them. <laughs> we can't vote always creating problems for the for the commoner. That's so we see. That's so we see. Smile. Eh? Do you care to know what people are going through? Quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. World Bank and IMF does not mean well for Nigeria. Are they dictating for America and European countries? They are not. They cannot dictate for Canada, America, uh, uh, another United Nations bodies like Russia, uh, UK, and Australia, and even France and Germany, okay, and Poland. They cannot dictate for them. It's only African countries they will come and give us their ill advice, and the, and the so called leaders will accept it without looking and understanding what is happening. These guys is just something else against Nigeria. Don't push Nigerians to the wall. Enough is enough of price increase. I tell you, let him push. Let him do everything he can do. The truth is matter. The, the truth is that the more he pushes Nigeria to the wall, the more that revolution they're trying to avoid is likely going to take place. Simple, simple as that. So thank you for listening. Let's have your comment over this World Bank advice to Nigeria. To increase fuel price to seven hundred fifty naira per liter, because what it is today is not reflective of the true state of the economy. Yeah, yeah, people.